<laughs> I'm a mom. Some of my friends are moms too. And it's gotten so bad to the point we don't even want to take our kids to the park without being in a group. And even in a group, we have to make sure that someone has a taser. We have some type of like pepper spray we have to have some type of protection you know i don't know about you but frankly i am sick and fucking tired of all of the illegal immigrants that are coming into our country that's a mother with a child who is so afraid to even go to the park by herself because there's venezuelan gangs that's a concern we have in america this is a third world problem Venezuelan gangs should be an issue in Venezuela, not America. And you know, the problem is, the real problem is, it's these damn Democrats that are going around and they're touting and flaunting how, oh, it's actually racist and rude to say that undocumented immigrants are illegal. It is wrong to somehow suggest then an undocumented immigrant is a criminal. Being an undocumented immigrant is not a crime. I know what a crime looks like. An undocumented immigrant is not a criminal. 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 An undocumented an undocumented immigrant is not a criminal. An undocumented immigrant is not a criminal. An undocumented immigrant is not a criminal. And we have to correct course in this conversation. We're not going to treat people who are undocumented across the border as criminals. That's correct. Well, first of all, that's just the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my entire life. First and foremost, if you're here illegally, guess what? You're an illegal immigrant, illegal alien. It's not some insult. I'm not being racist. I'm telling you an objective fact, something that you can't get through your drunken skull, you batshit crazy woman. So why else am I all riled up? Other than the fact that we're giving illegal aliens and that's what they're called, despite what every Democrat will tell you, we're giving illegal aliens millions and mil hundreds of millions of taxpayer dollars in terms of food stamps, housing, free phones, free internet. Have you noticed that every illegal alien has a phone in their pocket? Is that, do, do you think that when you cross the border, they just give you one? Uh, actually, that's pretty much what happens. There's a program called ACP where they sign all these people up for free phones. So that's where we're at in America. Your tax dollars are giving these people free phones, but that's really beside the point. A new video is now circulating of the Venezuelan gangs literally going door to door with guns, kicking in the doors and robbing places. And yeah, this is in Colorado. This is America, you know, America, allegedly a first world country. But you know, when you import the third world, you become the third world. So before we get into this clip and my blood pressure continues to rise any more than it currently has, Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I got Vote Trump merchandise 20% off this entire Labor Day weekend. If that interests you, check it out. Let's get into this clip. All right, we're going to step off the campaign trail. We want to take you to a pretty shocking situation playing out in the Denver area. Take a look at this new video. The surveillance video appears to show potential gang violence at an apartment complex. This is happening in the suburb of Aurora, Colorado. These men captured on video using weapons to forcefully break into at least one apartment. Vicente Arenas from News Nation's Denver affiliate has more. The video shows a group walking up a stairwell earlier this month at an apartment complex in Aurora. The edge at Lowry is located at East 12th Avenue and Dallas Street. All but one of the people appear to be carrying either a long gun or a handgun. They then enter a unit. Another clip shows two men forcing their way into that same unit. The couple that provided the video told us today the camera that captured these images was in plain sight. They moved out of the complex today saying they feared for their lives. It was a day they said couldn't come soon enough. 
I will probably sleep better tonight than I have in the last two and a half years. It's, it's been really bad. It's, it started out with loud music, then escalated to gunshots, then escalated to kicking in doors, then escalated to just taking over the property. So yeah, that's America. Gangs have taken over. There's no more rule of law. I'm sure all, but if you're a Colorado voter, you're going to keep voting Democrat? The rates like this, and let's be honest, unfortunately, there are a lot of people who are completely brainwashed by the left, especially in these major cities, maybe not specifically Aurora, Colorado. I don't really know what the political landscape is like there, but in state where I'm from, Chicago, we have a, we don't have, I mean, we have a similar issue, okay? A lot of violence, a lot of gang activity, and a lot of illegal immigrants. Maybe the gangs aren't Venezuelan, but there's a similar problem, and yet, there are so many people that are going to just continue to vote Democrat straight down the ballot, ignoring the problems altogether. So please don't do that. Acknowledge the issues and say, hey, let's try to fix this. All right. Anyways, here's another story, not the B. So that's how you know it's a real article. This Target parking lot in Colorado was trashed by Venezuelan gangs. A resident says that they are, quote, taking over his city. So here's the here's the video here. Let's watch this. Nigga, the Venezuelans is taking over. Oh, they just jacked them? Oh, me. These niggas is out here tripping. Look at this. It's completely trashed. Bro, damn, they done made a mess of shit. No respect whatsoever for anything. We take these people in our country. Bullshit out here. Give them free food, free, mo free money. Free housing, free everything. Oh, this is how they shit. treat us. What the f Yeah, they're tripping. Nigga, they are. Nigga, they this cracking off in the air this and everything. My they driving over the. Nigga, we almost just got hit. I'm trying to record, but I got to watch the. Anyways, here's another one. Stoppers. And really, a lot of the debate has been, is this the fault of the apartment management company or is this the work of Venezuelan gangs? New information this morning, Aurora police teaming up with the CBI and the Colorado State Patrol to better address concerns about the violent Venezuelan gangs. Investigators believe some members are from Venezuela, gangs responsible for this jewelry store heist we brought to you. This happened in Denver earlier in summer. All three agencies now creating a task force which will allow them to maximize resources and share intelligence about the ongoing investigations. Mayor Mike Coffin saying, and they've been talking about it for a while now, one of their initial goals is to engage in and learn from the migrant community. Pathetic. So you get the point. Aurora, Colorado has been literally taken over by gang activity. The crisis at the southern border. You know, it's not just... It's not just a little issue. I know we've been talking about it. Mainstream media, independent journalists commentators, anybody with two eyes has been complaining about this. Why we still have elected officials in office that are implementing policies and advocating for policies that allow this to happen is absolutely sickening to me because it is detrimental to the good and welfare of the American people. And if you disagree with me, you do not care about America. If you think that it's somehow racist, you think if I if you think I'm racist because I want I don't want Venezuelan gangs running towns in Colorado, the fact of the matter is pretty simple. Close down the southern border. Deport the illegal aliens. If you're in a Venezuelan gang and you're terrorizing the citizens, you shouldn't be here. Obviously. But oh, it's somehow wrong for me to say they're an illegal alien. How about what they're doing? Is that illegal? Is it illegal for them to be literally committing crimes other than the other crime of being here in the first place? Anyways, this kind of shit just literally sickens me. It disgusts me. I, 
I don't, it's hard for me to even comprehend why anybody would continue to vote Democrat knowing that this is the policies that they're advocating for. You want to fix this? It's pretty easy. Get Donald Trump back in office, close down the southern border, and deport these people from our country. If you agree with me, let me know down in the comments. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Again, 20% off all Labor Day weekend on merchandise in the store. We got these Trump crewnecks that I especially like, but vote Trump stickers t-shirts, mugs, all that stuff. Even if you don't have the money to support that, spread the good word. Make sure you tell everybody it's time for change in America. It's time to get the Democrats out of office and Donald Trump in it. My name is Beans. Thank you for watching The Daily Beans. You have a blessed day now.